This is Eric Palacio recording again with the Tascam DP24 and I gotta tell you guys being visually impaired this could be a pain in the butt sometimes not because the Tascam is difficult to work with but sometimes if you don't press the record button right it's not recording <laughs> just kidding yeah but yeah this was like the third time I've done this but it's recording I check the red and the green light Anyway, recording with the Dascam DP24 and using the University Audi Universal Audio 710 Twinfinity preamp. It is on solid state. Um, my, oops, my microphone's an AKG Perception 420 on Omni mode. But I'm going to give you guys a little bit of heads up with this microphone. If you lose the, if you use the low cut filter, which cuts the volume in half and allows you to put it in front of loud instruments and amplifiers, you want to have your high pass filter off. As a matter of fact, I never use the high pass filter on this mic. I'm going to show you guys why right now. Turn this up more, and I'm going to put the low cut. Let's cut you in half. Okay. Now. Okay, it's low cut here low cuts on filter or low pass low pass excuse me and here the high pass yeah it's a little hissy yeah like there's the high pass off which I recommend you have it off and there's when it's on yeah that's pretty bad <laughs> okay just giving you guys that example I'm gonna put the low take the low cut filter off the low pass filter, excuse me, low pass filter. Okay, turn you down. Turn you down like a, like a, no, I'm just kidding, I don't know, like a fat chick in a crowd. <gasps> what if you're fat too? So what? I don't like my ladies that fat. Oh, excuse me, I must be getting interference. Just joking. Okay. I'm recording in CD quality. CD quality mode, 44.1, 16-bit purposely to show people what kind of sound you can get out of this even on low quality if you get an advanced pre, mic pre, preamp, you know, um, a lot of, a lot of, um, there's a lot of forums up there that don't really know and they're asking and there are some people that are assuming they're going by other people's knowledge that haven't used it yet, that have heard you know, like other people, oh, it, since it, you know, since the Tascam does record on a certain kind of uh, audio file that you might not be able to get sound, I mean, it might be useless. I'm like, no, go out there, get yourself as many mic pre's as you can. You know, anything that you guys want to get, get it. It'll make it sound better on here. And then if you ever decide to upgrade to a computer system, you got the twenty-five to four thousand, to twenty-five hundred to four thousand to spend guess what they will come in handy and you won't regret buying any of your mic pre's and um, yeah so as for, as for that the sound here is clean clear I hardly have to do any EQing you know I do still have to EQ for the mixes but it's it's not horrible like it used to be I mean it used to be so difficult to EQ um, I find that the mid-range and the levels are hotter. I can I can I can go I can turn my tracks up hotter, and it's super clean, and no distortion. Like because I I noticed with the mic pre's on the on built in the Tascan, the distortion the distortion level starts kicking in immediately, and there's a there's a little hiss on on the mic pre's. I don't like that because the the recording's not so clean. But anyway. I have my line level turned. Um, I have the all the all the. I never use any of these knobs anymore. They're all turned down. So I'm using like thirty percent of the circuitry, and I'm not going to the other seventy percent, which is the the mic pre. <clears throat> it does. It sounds pretty good. Anyway, this is a sample of a new a new song. I've been working on it. If I trail off a little bit, because it's, it's new, and I just started it this week, and sometimes I tend to forget the words. 
what's it called do you remember and I'll probably add in tra uh, multiple tracks just to get a warm nice feel to the song uh, other than that I mean I'm on I'm in omni mode with my AKG perception 420 and this is a new song I've been working on called do you remember <clears throat> Alright, that was 
my head at recording CD quality mode through this preamp just to let people know that even up uh, at this low uh, the machine's lowest quality you still get a big difference in sound anyway I'm gonna put this on I'm gonna put the preamp on tube so okay I'm gonna play some guitar guitar samples here and I'm gonna put the mic on cardioid there we are this is on tube cardioid you'll notice that when I go from tube you get more of a mid kind of uh, it's like a little bit of a midi it's yeah it's like a mid quality thing but when I put it on solid state you hear like a little bit more of like clear and a, and a low type of bassy rumble here we all alone at the end of the evening Where the bright lights have faded to blue I was thinking about a woman who might love me That was on tube. Now I'm gonna put it back on. You'll notice I'm talking about like a crispy kind of solid state. Look at that. Maybe my voice sounds a little bit more crispy. Oh, at the end. See, it sounds different. Yeah, it does. My God. I'm no, just saying. <laughs> the, it's a little. I noticed it's a little fatter on the. On, on the digital end like a like inside the room kind of 3d-ish kind of feel at least on my headsets it is all along at the end of the evening where the bright lights About a woman who might love me, but I never knew. Oh, you know, I've always been a dreamer, spent my time running around. Yeah, it's definitely, yeah. Definitely has a warm sound to it. And I'm gonna do this so you can hear. This is solid state. That's solid state, and this is gonna be tube. If you guys can hear that, I can definitely hear the little bit of the top end coming out on the. Um, the you can hear more of the high, the high end frequencies on the um, high end frequencies on the uh, on the solid state and on the mid. I notice you get a little bit more of a mid range kind of a. Mm, I want to say 